Hi, my name is Jorge Salas Ortiz, and this is my quality of character presentation. And the character that I will be discussing today and presenting is courage. So the definition for courage is mental or moral strength to venture, persevere, and withstand danger, fear, or difficulty. So this is the definition according to Merriam-Webster Dictionary. More simply, courage is the ability to confront fear, pain, or opposition. The importance of courage. So leadership requires courage. Every leader must have courage. Leaders must be willing to accept the responsibilities associated with the position. It takes courage to make everyday decision. So every decision a person makes during the day takes some level of courage, allows people to stand up for what they believe in. So courage helps people to stand up by their beliefs when opposed by others. And also enables people to reach goals when faced with obstacles. So when pursuing goals, people are going to be confronted by obstacles. They need to have the courage to keep moving forward. It makes the possible impossible. When things seem impossible, those that are courageous find a way. Courage in the Bible. In Psalm 27.1, David says, the Lord is my light and my salvation, whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life, of whom shall I be afraid? Examples are Jesus Christ. He spread God's word when strongly opposed. He had the courage to always make the right decisions and not stray from his mission. And he gave his life for beliefs. And David and Goliath, he confronted the giant when everybody else was scared, risked his life, and had the courage to keep the faith in God. Quotations in courage. So Aristotle, Greek, Greek philosopher, and key figure in the creation of Western philosophy, courage is the first of human qualities, qualities because it is the quality which guarantees the others. And then we have Mark Twain, 19th century author and humorist and labeled the father of American lit literature, courage is the resistance to fear of mastery of fear, not absence of fear. And then Bruce Lee, whom I consider the greatest icon of martial arts, cinema, and key figure of modern po popular media, mistakes are always forgivable if one, of, one has the courage to admit them. So from an article by Nelson H. Gao titled Courage, Its Nature and the Development of Journal of Humanistic Counseling, Education and Development, there are three dimensions of courage and they are purpose, fear, and action. All three dimensions must be um, present for an act to be courageous and all three dimensions must interact together and with different levels of intensity during a courageous act. Athletes and courage. So athletes have to put their body on the line to make the play and execute their assignment. Athletes have to take more of a load than a normal student. Tremendous time and commitment. Athletes are challenged on and off the field morally and ethically and must be able to make good decisions. Peer pressure, cheating, substance abuse, Athletes also have to take risks to achieve greatness. Athletes must realize failure is part of the game, but true failure is not getting back up. Courage will lead to achievement of individual and team goals. Colin Kaepernick is a former NFL quarterback who was better known for kneeling than his playing. And he took in a courageous act to protest uh, attacks in, against black people and took a knee during the national anthem. Pat Tillman, an NFL player who gave up a multi-million dollar contract to join the Army Rangers and fight for what he believed in, 
and Jesse Owens is another example, an African-American who competed in the track and field in the 1936 Olympics Games and won multiple medals in a hostile environment in the heart of Nazi Germany. The impact of courage on the world. Courage is a catalyst to improvement to the world. Martin Luther King had the courage to stand up for what he believed in and initiated their civil rights movement. The New York Fire Department risked their lives to help others trapped in the destruction of the 9-11 terrorist attack. And there are also thousands of colleges and universities, universities from around the world where students take on the rigors of education on their quest for not knowledge, even after not being in school after 25 years. And the numerous different religions in the world that give a people faith. In the movie, Rudy, which is the story of a young man pursuing his dream to play football for the University of Notre Dame. A great example of courage being displayed is when the players go into the head coach's office to give their jersey up for Rudy to dress in their final home game. Among the players were the team captains, all Americans, and starters. So follow the link on the YouTube video. Asking ourselves these questions can help us better understand courage and the importance of the quality. When have you displayed an act of courage that had an impact on your life or others? How is the athlete's physical courage and moral courage tested in sports today? And can a courage be taught or is it a quality which someone's born with? poem by Dorsey Baker titled, Encourage. Encourage, you find no fear, and encourage, no weakness does appear. Encourage, steps toward danger taken, and encourage, strength within awaken. Encourage, a hero takes shape, and encourage, the villain can escape. Encourage, there's a call to duty, and encourage, out of ugliness comes beauty. So with courage, we can find the strength to achieve anything. A group activity that I do at my camps with my players um, that I do is I ask players to go in a room and introduce to three people that they don't know or never met. So players are asked to, to give their name, where are they from, what are their individual goals, and what are their team goals. So when they're all done, we get them all together and then I'll pick a player to come and stand up and they have to share what they learned from the players that they interviewed. So they're unfamiliar with them and they share their, their team goals also. So this is a courageous practice too for them because they have to learn how to stand up and talk uh, in front of people that they don't know. So players will conquer that fear of speaking in front of a large group and voice what they believe in. In conclusion, courage is acting according to your beliefs, despite, and your fears. So courage is the cornerstone of character. Without courage, we can't practice any virtues. It requires us to be spiritually prepared so that we can conquer our fears. With courage, we earn respect and admiration. Without courage, we lose respect and earn disgrace. And one of my favorite coaches, John Wooden, um, final thought on courage, success is never final, failure is never fatal, it's courage that counts. So you will be defined by your successes or failures by your courage. Thank you. In the movie, Rudy, which is the story of a young man pursuing his dream to play football for the University of Notre Dame, a great example of courage being displayed is when the players go into the head coach's office to give their jersey up for Rudy to dress in their final home game. Among the players were the team captains, all Americans, and starters. 
So follow the link on the YouTube video. Asking ourselves these questions can help us better understand courage and the importance of the quality. When have you displayed an act of courage that had an impact on your life or others? How is the athlete's physical courage and moral courage tested in sports today? And can a courage be taught or is it a quality which someone's born with? Poem by Dorsey Baker titled, Encourage. Encourage you find no fear and encourage no weakness does appear. Encourage steps toward danger taken and encourage strength within awaken. Encourage a hero takes shape and encourage the villain can escape. Encourage there's a call to duty and encourage out of ugliness comes beauty. So with courage, we can find the strength to achieve anything. A group activity that I do at my camps with my players um, that I do is I ask players to go in a room and introduce to three people that they don't know or never met. So players are asked to, to give their name, where are they from, what are their individual goals, and what are their team goals. So when they're all done, we get them all together and then I'll pick a player to come and stand up and they have to share what they learned from the players that they interviewed. So they're unfamiliar with them and they share their, their team goals also. So this is a courageous practice too for them because they have to learn how to stand up and talk uh, in front of people that they don't know. So players will conquer that fear of speaking in front of a large group and voice what they believe in. In conclusion, courage is acting according to your beliefs, despite, and your fears. So courage is the cornerstone of character. Without courage, we can't practice any virtues. It requires us to be spiritually prepared so that we can conquer our fears. With courage, we earn respect and admiration. Without courage, we lose respect and earn disgrace. And one of my favorite coaches, John Wooden, um, final thought on courage, success is never final, failure is never fatal, it's courage that counts. So you will be defined by your successes or failures by your courage. Thank you.